What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Chase and he's Sky, and today we're reacting to Bungo Stray Dogs openings. And by the way, we're still pretty new to anime, so if you have any anime recommendations, please send them down in the comments below. Be like, Chase Sky, Chase Sky, react to this. We'll be like, I we got you. Just gotta be patient. And also, 95% of you are not subscribed. Just subscribe. It's that easy. All right, let's get into the first one of Bungo Stray Dogs. Oh, those let's get it. Are, are, are the dogs with bongos? Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got this rock pub going. Did he just jump off a building? Okay, this city looks so futuristic. Okay, the switch up. Wait, was that a tail or, or was that part of his, like, clothing? I couldn't tell what that was. Okay, the character's alive. They look cold. Is that a lemon in his head? <laughs> Is that- oh, we got Dracula, okay. Dude, he really is just falling, huh? He, he's not- he's not even panicking, he's just going. Okay, whoa. What, do you see the eyes on the character? It was like, uh, like a- like a yellow. Are you, are you not seeing these fight scenes? This is going crazy. What was that? What kind of guns? Are... Bro, the colors on this character, bro. Ooh, a moon. A full moon. A blood moon. Blood moon. Full blood moon. It's it's a blood. it's a moon, but blood. Full blood moon. Vampire. You said Dracula. Wolves? Woofuses? Hey, just letting you know, I did not see any dogs. No, where were the dogs? I thought this was going to be a dog show. <laughs> Fungus stray dogs with no dogs. Alright, <laughs> first of all, this opening started off with a banger. Just off the bat, Brock vibes. And then there's just show a character's free falling off a building. No idea what's going on there. Um, We got a bunch of fight scenes. We got a bunch of characters going on. Uh, looks like some characters have different weapons and like a vampire that they're fighting. Let me guess, like, what else would wear like a coat like that? The only person I know wearing coats like that is Dracula. So, <laughs> facts. Um, so the character with like the tail clothing part, um, it looks like his uh, like, like he was changing like colors, like his eyes were changing colors because it was like normal and then like it started changing colors and like became like this bright yellow. Eye, eye color it's pretty wild hmm. um so back to like the characters having different um weapons so we got like people with like hand-to-hand -hand combat we got people with guns we got i i don't know what what else we saw like we saw a lightsaber like there's just a bunch of things going on in this and the switch up from rock to like this like hip-hop like kind of vibe to it like whoa it just threw me off because like we're used to like anime music being really slow and then picking up well, this one like picked up and then went slow. True. Yeah, it was it was the opposite of what it usually is. Yeah. Um, I couldn't really tell what it it was about. Like there were so many different like abilities and like like guns were going off. Like, yeah. That tail. Like I don't even know what that is. Like we saw someone get like annihilated or like transforming. It was just like it's like a blue kind of aura around them. Um, mm -hmm. the only thing I can get from this is that they're office workers, because, like, all their outfits were, like, business outfits. <clears throat> woof woof! Opening two! <laughs> okay, bro, what? <laughs> okay. Very different from the first one. Is he have a- does he have a stop sign as a weapon? <laughs> bro, what? I think what? it was. Okay, it has a kind of like, like a comic book kind of uh, aesthetic to it. Mm hmm. What? Was that a whale up in the sky? I don't know. Ew. Is this uh, Dracula's squad pulling up? 
Whoa! Hey, animation's going crazy all of a sudden. Looking kind of depressed. It looks like this world has like some type of magic to it. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Was that Uzi? Yeah, they said they said screw <laughs> magic. <laughs> Okay, what? So did Dracula, like, huh. switch teams? I or are they- Because they, they looked really similar. Are they brothers? I mean, I guess they could be. Because why else would they show them, like, switching like that? With that transition? They have to be related to something, or something like that. Like, what? That makes no sense. So we saw a, a bunch of characters for this one compared to the first one. Um, so I thought they're, they're like businessmen going after vampires or whatever. But it looks like the vampires switched teams, kind of. I don't know what's going on. And then, um, I mean, I guess it can be businessmen taking care of monsters because those people kind of do look like kind of do look like monsters. Because like one the the dude kind of like the Dracula kind of um suit to him. But then there's a guy next to him that had his, like, neck broken, but he's still, like, walking and breathing. Mm. So, that's not normal. So, there has to be, like, yeah. some type of, like, monster, uh, like, monster, I don't, I don't know what to call them. Like, it's... they're like Ghostbusters, but with monsters. <laughs> I almost said gang, but it's not really a gang. It doesn't really seem like a gang. Uh-uh. But I don't know. Um, so, they have some type of magic in this world. Um, they're flying across the town, destroying each other. Um, there's some people that like, don't have magic, I guess. Well, they have magic guns. Yeah, who needs magic when you just have a gun? Bro, they, she, she just said, bah, bah, pull out the blicky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did they said they magic? Nope. <laughs> or unless she has, like, aimbot with her with her bullets. Oh, like, like half magic and half just, like, yeah. using a gun? Yeah. Like that? I can see that. I could definitely see that. She's just a hacker from the call lobby. She's like, get the 720s to swap fucking... <laughs> But listen, look at the colors of the show so far. We got, like, it's like a futuristic kind of vibe to it. But then, at the same time, like, when you think about monsters, you think about, like, way back then, right? Like, yeah, way, usually, like, way in the past. yeah, or something like that. But it's cool that they're doing, like, they're taking that aspect, aesthetic of it and then put it in, in, like, a futuristic kind of vibe to it. Bunko Stray Dogs opening three. Let's get it. Futuristic kind of bonds to it. I like it. The art style is changing. Bro, he looks so dope. Okay. It's like in this opening, they're showing like a bunch of like the city or the world. Yeah. If the anime looks like this, bro, it's beautiful. Like, cat. <laughs> there's no dog, but there's a cat. Yeah, there's no dogs but a cat. <laughs> Whoa. Dang, it's picking up. Oh, this anime is look pretty sad. Whoa, yes, a drip. Everybody has a drip in this. Wait. Is that part of his magic? Where he uses, like, his, like, mummy... Band-Aids? Lightning magic? That's like a... That, that is definitely magic, bro. That thing looked like a spirit. Another full moon. I wonder if, like, the full moon, like, indicates something. I don't know. We, there's a lot of, like, neon vibes to this. True. That we didn't see in the other ones. So, like... There's, there wasn't, like, really the much action going on in this opening. But I feel like uh, for this opening, they wanted, like, the world-building aspect to show off. So they're showing, like, like more of the world and, like, what, what it looks like. If, yeah. if it looks like this, if the whole anime looks like this, bro, it's beautiful. Like, the colors, everything. The art style, animation, beautiful. 
it looks like a kind of like a modern futuristic kind of vibe still, especially with the fonts and like glowing uh, glowing signs and everything. Yeah, it really just adds on to like the creativity of what they can do. They showed the moon again, and they keep showing the moon. This time it's not it's not red. Okay, but I wonder if that correlates with like their powers. Like if there's a full moon, uh, or if there's a full moon, that's why they have to go out there and hunt the monsters. Like they all come out on the yeah. full moon. I mean, that's like what a werewolf is, is they come out on the full moon. True. Okay, I, I have a theory, right? Listen, hear me out, hear me out. All right, so the show's called Bongo Stray Dogs, right? Okay, we haven't seen any dogs at all in this anime so far. But we did see a cat, which makes no sense, but it, whatever, right? So what if, <laughs> what if like, the dogs in this title means that these people on this team are a bunch of strays? And then they found each other and created a whole group to take on these monsters. Oh, okay. So it's not like actual just yeah. dogs fighting. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was—I thought it would be like dogs, you know. But it looks like just a bunch of people gathered together, and they're so-called strays. I feel like that would make sense. Gotcha. Yeah, that would yeah. make a lot more sense. Why, than just dogs. Yeah, because why would you have the title "Stray Dogs" if there's no dogs or anything like that? Y'all, let me know what y'all think. I think I'm right. Why well, am I might just be overthinking this? Chase, do you smell what I'm smelling? Bug of Stray Dogs, opening four. Play it. <laughs> I'm getting flashbanged off the start, bro. Okay, all the colors gone, it's just black and white now. I wonder if that paper flying around could be like spells. I don't know. Bro, we see feathers in like almost every anime, bro. Bro, the song is so upbeat, but like the visuals, they look really depressed. Everyone just looks sad mm -hmm. and depressed. Oh, is that is that a theater? Yeah. What if all this could be a play? There's that moon again. Oh, what tower is that? I feel like we're not seeing like the main characters that we've been seeing. I feel like we've been seeing more blood on this opening than we've ever did. Yeah, this one's a lot more grim. Huh. That anime opening was completely different from the rest uh, of the openings. This one... Yeah, the vibe was so different. They, they went from, like, all this bright and beautiful colors to just being black and white. And, like, having the characters be, like, super depressed. I feel like every character in that opening was just, like, going through it. So I wonder if that means, like, the last... Or like the most like the, the these episodes, right? Mm -hmm. You think they lost? And that's why they all look like this. Like, I mean, I would assume so too because they they didn't show off like the two main characters we we saw in like all three openings. Yeah. Like, um, and we saw the character at, at a cemetery, uh, like visiting. Right? What if he died mm -hmm. too? And that's like he knew his death was coming up, so he visited the mill like the. Cemetery, and then like the the character with like crazy eyes with like a tail belt thing wasn't there either. Like, mm -mm. we didn't see the vampire. I don't I don't think we saw any monsters in this one too. So like, what happened? Like, unless like this whole or the season right, this opening or season whatever. What if uh like it's all black and white because they're showing like the backstory of everything. And that's why, like, how these uh, monsters came about. And, like, we saw some, like, church place and, like, gathered up. And there's, like, a, a theater, like, a theater room. The only, like, why would that be there? Like, why would they, like, show it a couple of times? I don't know, because it didn't really... Was it just, like, a meeting? They weren't really doing anything else, were they, right? No. They were just kind of grouped up there? Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Yeah, this one this one just felt out of place uh, compared to the other three. Like, I feel like it just has to be some type of backstory to what like why all of this happened. That's like the only thing I can think of from this opening. Mm, I could I could see that too. Yeah, black and white, grim. You know, like I, like the world was in darkness before. Yeah, almost like that. I f- yeah, I feel like this is like where the monsters started to like peaking. You could say, and then mm-hmm. now they formed a group, and now they, they take care of the monsters. What do you think your favorite opening out of these were? Um, I would say, hmm, I feel like I feel like opening two. I feel like that one is my favorite. Which one's yours? Um, I'm kind of thinking like opening three, just because how bright it was. True. It was super, it was super colorful. There's like cool stuff going on, and I like the song a lot. So I think that one's probably my favorite. Yeah, I feel like season or it's not season two. Opening two was my favorite because I had, like, so much action and all, like, a bunch of bright, beautiful colors. And it shows, like, what the show can really be about. And, like, it drags the, the viewers in. Because they see mm-hmm. all this color, uh, colorful, like, flashy colors and a bunch of good animation. So I feel like that's why I like it. I mean, who knows if the show's actually like that? Because this fourth one is just so dark. You have a point. But I'm still going to So I'm I don't even know what it's going to look like. I'm still going with opening two. <laughs> All right, and there we have it. That was Bungo Stray Dogs openings, one through four. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below for more suggestions. And like and subscribe. Oh, subscribe.